Meet Holochain, a technology that claims to think outside the box. The evolution of blockchain as well as other comparable technologies continues. In this video, we will be talking about Holochain. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the video, don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure that the post notifications are turned on so that you never miss a video from us. Before we get into Holochain, let's begin with the origin. The first time blockchain made the news was in the aftermath of Bitcoin, the first digital currency. Apart from powering cryptocurrencies, distributed ledger technology, or blockchain in other terms, has seen some noteworthy advances in the recent decade. However, due to systemic inefficiencies and scale issues, developers have been seeking alternatives to the blockchain. As a result, innovations such as Holochain, Directed Acyclic Graph DAG, and Hashgraph have emerged. In short, the goal is to maintain blockchain's original purpose alive in the face of new and unexpected challenges. The introduction of new solutions, which differ significantly from blockchain-based data structures, has sparked new and important debates about which network is the best. In light of this, the purpose of this paper is to dissect the networks and highlight their various strengths and limitations. Blockchain The authors of the white paper that launched Bitcoin mentioned that a network would collect transaction data in blocks. Other blocks would be stacked on top of each other, building a blockchain. Each block, interestingly, generates a unique hash that identifies the transaction. As a result, if the transaction's details are changed, a whole different hash is created. This will be proof of a tampered with and invalid transaction. The transactions, on the other hand, are recorded in a public ledger that is accessible to participants on the network. In essence, the public ledger's dispersed structure makes it much more difficult for parties to modify data. Furthermore, this enables transactions to take place in complete transparency. Transparency and integrity are two of the most revolutionary properties of blockchain technology. Furthermore, blockchain's capacity to combine integrity and transparency in data storage and transactions is the primary reason many businesses are being disrupted. Blockchain, it turns out, is not as novel a notion as we would assume. When blockchain was invented over 27 years ago, it was first mentioned in terms of its basic structure and operation. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, on the other hand, have shed new light on this groundbreaking technological innovation. It's worth noting that these same cryptocurrencies sparked the need for blockchain-related solutions. New distributed ledger technology networks such as Holochain, DAG, and Hashgraph were born as a result of this. As previously said, the necessity for a highly scalable network is at the heart of the new networks. In addition, the networks are working to increase their transaction per second TPS, capability. Holochain This form of distributed ledger technology claims to be the next big thing after blockchain. Despite their bold statements, high dosage of rhetoric, the Holochain team has several genuine concepts that compete with other platforms. Holochain, in particular, is aiming to radically transform the internet as we know it. One of Holochain's more intriguing visions is to alter the internet's current structure. The internet is now organized on a server-client basis. To put it another way, decentralization isn't ideal. Furthermore, there is a lack of democracy and freedom in the resources use. As a result, Holochain aspires to build a distributed network that can also serve as the foundation for the next generation internet. Holochain is a hybrid of blockchain, BitTorrent, and GitHub, according to the platform's white paper. This is a distributed ledger technology DLT, that distributes data among nodes to prevent centralized data flow control. The term distributed platform simply means that each node will run on its own chain. This means that nodes or miners are free to operate independently. Users can store data using specific keys in what the Holochain team refers to as a distributed hash table DHT. This data, on the other hand, remains distributed in multiple locations around the world. Advantages of Holochain The important aspect of this data structure is that it avoids the congestion that plagues standard blockchain networks. This distributedness of data storage locations relieves the network and provides more room for expansion. As a result, this network's transactions can quickly reach millions of TPS. Scalability is a significant issue that plagues both public and private blockchain applications. 
When developing decentralized apps, or dApps, on the traditional blockchain, for example, developers frequently face significant challenges. This is because they require validation from the platform's large community. A developer using the Holochain platform, on the other hand, will just require a confirmation from the single chain that makes up the entire DLT network. As a result, the time between request and confirmation with this form of distributed ledger technology is minimal. Blockchain versus Holochain Looking at the core structure of Holochain and blockchain in contrast to DLT reveals a number of distinctions. Although the two have some similarities in terms of aim, they differ greatly in terms of structure. Surprisingly, Holochain is a breakthrough technology that aims to turn the world upside down. Holochain, like blockchain, aims to allow for safe and transparent transactions among network participants. The information on both systems is cryptographically secure and cannot be tampered with. Both systems also allow users to interact with one another on a peer-to-peer -peer basis. They can interact directly without the need for a central authority in this fashion. Is Holochain better? However, when compared to the blockchain, Holochain is a step above. In essence, Holochain aspires to generate a new dynamic that is diametrically opposed to the primary goal of blockchain. Blockchain aims to decentralize transactions so that people can connect without the use of a third party. Holochain, on the other hand, wants to disperse the interactions. Holochain connects multiple distributed ledger technology networks to form a network. As a result, the DLT is a large network with virtually endless scalability and the number of transactions users may complete in a second. To initiate and validate transactions on a blockchain network, nodes rely on a single network. As a result, as additional blocks are added to the chain, the computing burden increases, as do the transaction fees. Holochain nodes, on the other hand, run on their own chains. As a result, there is greater space for calculations. The fact that each node in Holochain runs on its own chain eliminates the need for miners. Transaction fees are essentially non-existent as a result. Furthermore, this means that the platform does not use tokenization and instead relies on smart contracts to operate. Nodes that run on their own chains will be able to process ledgers that belong entirely to them. This way, the network's various nodes' relationships may be entirely trusted. Furthermore, dApps have a limitless amount of space in which to function. As a result, you can count on the dApps to perform at their best at all times. Holochain technology can eliminate the need to understand or use several blockchains entirely. Because Holochain is an open source framework that provides distributed ledger technology (DLT) solutions, it can be utilized for a variety of purposes inside the same company. You can customize your app to meet the needs of your users. This implies you have complete control over the type of blockchain solution you use. But that doesn't rule out the possibility of incorporating it into an existing distribution network. To get started, you'll need to study Holochain and apply it to various components of a functioning system. You may then use Holochain to configure your network and benefit from your unique decentralized solution. You can also utilize the method to totally replace your existing systems with Holochain technology. In conclusion, Holochain technology is a good choice for service companies that desire maximum customization. This will enable them to better serve their consumers with various requirements and demands. Microservices are at the heart of it. It enables the platform's development to be fluid and quick. This also implies that the microservices can be connected. The microservices strategy is more future-proof and will aid in platform evolution. It does not rely on smart contracts, according to David Atkinson, which is a positive thing. Smart contracts can be restrictive in a variety of ways. The requirement for 100% accuracy is the most significant barrier. There's no reason for Holochain apps to be so precise right now. It adds an unnecessary burden to developers who are eager to get their programs out the door. The evolvability of the technology is what makes it a great choice for today's industry when agile development is the standard. It also makes it suitable for more demanding industries such as energy, food, and supply chain management. In other words, if an app is built with Holochain, it can adapt over time as needs change. With this, we have come to an end. Thank you for watching the video. We hope this session was informative. What are your thoughts on Holochain? Do let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for more content just like this one and share it with your friends. 
Also, don't forget to smash that like button and also press the bell icon to get notified about our new videos. Until then, fellas.